हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ए केस वेयर द एसएससी हैज क्लेम्ड हायर डेप्रिसिएशन ऑन सम आइटम्स एंड हिज व्यू ऑफ क्लेमिंग द हायर डेप्रिसिएशन वाज बेस्ड ऑन सम ज्यूडिशियल प्रेसिडेंट्स आल्सो एंड द एसएससी हैज सपोर्टेड इट्स क्लेम बाय रेलेवेंट फैक्ट्स आल्सो but if the revenue does not accept that rate of depreciation and allow depreciation at some lower rate so in that case whether the penalty imposed on the assessee under section 271 sub section 1 clause c for furnishing inaccurate particular is justified or not this issue has been taken by mumbai itit d bench in the case of maha online limited versus commissioner of income tax appeals and this case has been reported in 113 itr short notes 47 and the date of the judgment is 28 june 2024 the facts of the case are like this in the present case the assessee carried on business of developing maintenance and management of an online portal for providing web based services by government to citizens government to business and other portal services by the government of maharashtra the assessee was using uh, using biometric devices and the assessee thought that these biometric devices are part of the computer system and that is why the assessee claimed depreciation at 60% on these biometric devices when the assessment proceedings were going on the learned assessing officer was of the considered view that these biometric devices are not part of the computers but they are separate plant and machinery and the depreciation rate is 15% on these biometric devices the additions were made for the difference of the depreciation claimed by the ssc even the cat appeal also appealed the order of the eo as far as this addition on account of higher depreciation was made on the ssc further the assessing officer levied penalty under section 271 sub section 1 clause c for furnishing inaccurate particulars on the ssc that the assessee has given wrong particulars to the assessing officer for claiming higher depreciation and imposed the penalty for claiming higher depreciation which was also confirmed by cat appeal when this matter came to the tribunal regarding the imposition of penalty under section 271 sub section 1 clause c for furnishing inaccurate particulars the submissions of the assessee was that that the claim of the assessee of higher depreciation is not a case where the claim was false or bogus or sham the assessee had disclosed and explained all the relevant facts and details pertaining to the claim of higher depreciation on biometric devices when this matter was heard by the tribunal the tribunal said that in the present case since the assessee's claim was supported by various judgments does not tend amount to furnishing of inaccurate particulars and in the present facts and circumstances the penalty imposed on assessee under section 271 sub section 1 clause c for furnishing inaccurate particulars in the form of claiming higher depreciation on biometric devices does not hold good from this case it can be said that in every case where there is a difference between the revenue and the assessee for claim uh, for the claim of rate of depreciation it always does not mean that the assessee has furnished inaccurate particulars and that does not give right to the revenue to impose the penalty as a ritual because the assessment proceedings and the penalty proceedings are separate they stand on different footings and for penalty 
there is a different set of assumptions and the law that in uh, until and unless it is proved that the assessee has concealed income or furnished inaccurate particulars intentionally the penalty should not be levied at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is maha online limited versus commissioner of income tax appeals and this case has been reported in 113 itr tribunal short notes 47 and the matter has been decided by mumbai itat d bench and the date of the judgment is 28th june 2024 thank you friends